Hi everyone, I'm so sorry this video took so long. I know I said I'd be looking at this game on Mac, uh, Resident Evil 7, a week after my iPhone review and it's been like three weeks. I'm sorry, okay, but, but here we are. Let's today have a look at the game on five different Macs. Enjoy. Our first device to look at is my 13 inch MacBook Pro with M1. Out of all the Resident Evil games on Mac, this one definitely runs the best on M1. But as you would expect, it's a very old game. Well, it's a pretty old AAA game, so it's obviously going to run pretty well. So here I am running the game at 1080p default. And in the first section leading up to the house, it is always over 60 FPS. Skipping on a bit further to the garage fight with Jack, and it can go a little bit below 60 FPS, but that is very uh, that's not very frequent, which is good to see. And then after this, when we defeated Jack in that section, we move on a bit further, and then Jack, come, Jack uh, comes back to uh, haunt our dreams. It is about 60 FPS with some micro stutters. During a molded encounter, the frame rate is also really good at about 70 frames per second. During the chainsaw fight with a uh, classic old Jack who just won't die, it is, um, yeah, really good once again, hitting about 60 to 70 FPS. Outside here, when exploring the yard, for whatever reason, is actually one of the most demanding scenes in the game. I'm not, it's, I'm not certain on why this is. Um, I guess it's more of an open area, so there's more stuff to render, but someone uh, smart in the comments might have a, a good answer. It's, yeah, it can often drop a, a little bit below 60 FPS, but it's, it's no issue, really, at the end of the day. And here we are fighting Marguerite. Now this is a good uh, scene to test because there's a lot of things going on and I find that when using the flamethrower, this is uh, where the performance can go down a little bit. It's nowhere near as bad as the M1 iPad version though, but um, as we can see, the GPU is being used quite a bit here. So it can drop a little bit below 60 FPS, but it's, it's not a big deal at the end of the day. During my playtime at 1080p default, this MacBook Pro reached a max outside surface temperature of 42.7 degrees. I'm also really happy to see that the game doesn't use over 8 gigabyte of RAM at 1080p default on this MacBook Pro, which is really good because I've only got eight gigs of RAM here. I also just want to quickly point out that um, on this device, and I also saw with Andrew Sai on M1 machines, when you play the game at max settings, it uh, can have really big performance issues. I don't know why this is, and I could not for the life of me work a, a fix around this. I found the game was just best played at 1080p default, which is like a mix of medium and high settings. Up next, we have my 13-inch MacBook Pro with M2. Here is the game running at 1080p and default settings. Now, this is good because it's running obviously very well, and it is uh, quite a bit better than M1. So in this opening scene, it is really good with like about 80 to 100 FPS. A little bit later, during the garage fight with uh, Jack, it is up to 90 FPS and sometimes up to 100 FPS. When Jack is getting out of the car here and it's on fire and then it explodes, uh, we can see that the GPU is being used a little bit, but it is no issue. Unfortunately, it's not all it's not all good on this machine. What I'm noticing is that even at uh, default settings, there are some random FPS 
stutters occurring. It mainly occurs during this scene with Jack earlier on in the game. And I tried this scene, I think, three times in my playthrough and it just kept happening. So I don't know what's going on there. When encountering the molded, the frame rate is typically over 100 FPS, but it can go down to about 90 FPS in a little bit more challenging scenes. The fight scene with Jack, yeah, where we're using the chainsaw, this guy just, like, he doesn't die. <laughs> just, dude, I'm hitting you with a chainsaw. Yeah, it's really good with about anywhere from 80 to 90 plus FPS, and I'm pretty happy with that. Exploring the yard, as I said before, this is one of the most demanding scenes. It doesn't seem to have as many issues here compared to M1, which is really good to see. It's always well over 60 FPS. Last scene I want to look at here is with fighting Marguerite. It does very well, especially when using the flamethrower. It can go down to about, uh, let's see, 80 FPS, and the GPU is being used a little bit. Overall, pretty happy with it. During my playtime at 1080p default settings, this M2 MacBook Pro reached a max outside surface temperature of 44.2 degrees. And again, obviously the game isn't using uh, up to, uh, over 8GB of RAM at these settings as it didn't on the 13-inch MacBook Pro with M1. So really good because this device has only 8 gigs of RAM as well. So awesome. This machine is unable to play the game at 1080p max settings similar to M1. I, I believe in theory it should be able to. I just think uh, Capcom and Apple maybe need to put out some sort of a fix. Yeah. Here we have my 15 inch MacBook Air with M3. So I'm playing the game here at 1152p and max settings. The opening of the game is about 60 FPS, but it can go a bit below this. Moving on in the garage fight scene with Jack, it is typically over 60 FPS, but can go below 60 FPS occasionally. When going upstairs in the house and seeing good old Jackaroo again, it can go below 60 FPS here. Moving on, we are fighting the Molded now, and it is working pretty well with about 60 FPS, sometimes a bit above this as well. During the chainsaw fight with Jack, it can go a little bit below 60 FPS once again. Okay, when exploring outside, this was uh, a little bit challenging and it can occasionally go to the low 50s in frame rate. And last, during a battle encounter with Marguerite, it can drop frames quite a bit when using the flamethrower. Now, you might be saying, Mr. Macron, why the heck are you playing the game at 1152p in very high settings? Well, I wanted to see if the uh, MacBook Air, which has no fan, would throttle at a relatively high resolution. And, and yes, uh, Metal FX is being used for quality mode. My device didn't really get hot. This M3 MacBook Air reached a max outside surface temperature of only 44.3 degrees. So, and I think that's actually really impressive for a fanless device.
If I wanted better performance on this MacBook Air, another option is to play at 1080p max settings with metal effects off, so it's native 1080p. This usually provides over 60 FPS. Moving on, we have my 14 inch MacBook Pro with M1 Pro. Here is the game running at 1440p and max settings. Leading up to the house, we're seeing about a plus 70 FPS. During the garage fight with Jack, it is Again, about over 70 FPS, but what I am noticing is that the GPU is being used uh, quite a bit in the HUD, but the frame rate is still able to maintain a, a high FPS, which is really, really wonderful. A little later when fighting Jack upstairs, it is, yeah, about uh, 70 plus FPS. Great. When fighting the molded, this is really good with about plus 80 FPS. During the chainsaw fight scene with Jack, it is 70 plus FPS. When exploring the yard, once again, it's about 70 plus FPS. And as I have said before, this one of the most challenging scenes in the game. I know nothing's going on, but it's really good to see just because as this is an outdoor area and usually you have to only render small inside spaces. It's working a little bit harder here, but it's, uh, it's not really skipping a beat. So that's good. Last, when fighting my Gorit, it is uh, doing very well. I'm uh, really happy with the results here, but we need to keep in mind this game isn't demanding. The max outside surface temperature on my M1 Pro MacBook Pro was 45.2 degrees. Now this device also has 16 gigabyte of RAM I don't know if that's worth mentioning, but the game at 1440p max settings never went over 8 gigabyte of RAM usage, which is, I think, really, really awesome, actually. I think that, that's really cool. And last, here is my 14-inch... MacBook Pro with M3 Max. Now I'm playing the game at 4K max settings and it's also worth noting Metal FX is off so I'm playing the game at native resolution and the game runs perfectly well. There's honestly not that much to say. Leading up to the house is uh, plus 60 FPS. Here fighting Jack in the garage is again plus 60 FPS. Fighting Jack upstairs in the house is again, very, very playable. Fighting the molded, wonderful performance, really good. During the chainsaw fight with Jack, no issues whatsoever, 60 plus FPS. Exploring the yard, does it go below 60 FPS? Uh, no. And last, fighting Marguerite. Mostly fine, it can on the very odd occasion go down to 60 FPS and um, I'm just scouring through the footage here. I, mm, the GPU is being heavily used in this scene. 
um, in some parts of this scene. So now, in terms of uh, temperature, this M3 Max went up to 50 degrees, so it was pretty hot. The game also uses up to about 9 or 10 gigabyte of memory, but at 4K max settings, but that's no issue here because we've got plenty of RAM to work with. So that was Resident Evil 7 on the uh, Macintosh. What are we thinking? Are you impressed or disappointed? It runs great. Honestly, like, yeah, uh, there wasn't really that much to say in this video because it runs fine. There's not that many issues. Uh, on M1 and M2, there is some performance stuff going on at max settings. Hopefully that can get fixed by Apple and Capcom because that would be good. Uh, or maybe the, ja the, game, maybe the game just can't play at max settings and that's okay because it looks pretty good at default settings too. So uh, it's really good to have Resident Evil 7 on Mac now. It uh, completes the Ethan Winters story with Resident Evil 8. And we've also got a few others on, on Mac as well. Resident Evil 4 Remake and the Resident Evil 2 Remake is coming as well soon, which I'm really excited. That is one of my most played games of all time. I think I've finished it like more than five times. I adore that game and I'm so excited. And um, yeah, there's not really that much else to say. Uh, have you bought the game? Because uh, I don't think it sells very well, unfortunately, but uh, I hope that some of you do decide to buy it because it's a pretty good port, even though it's an older game. I, I, I think it runs very well and yeah, it's pretty old, so that's to be expected. But that's all I have to say. See you later. Have a good one. Uh, Jack Baker's pretty scary. I don't like seeing his face all the time. But I've seen it a lot lately. And every time I'm like, oh my gosh, that guy is really scary. But actually, behind the infection, he's a really sweet man. I, I would love to sit down with him and have a cup of tea.